This is exciting. Because, like, again, we're good at this. Welcome or welcome back to Unwinding Roads. My name is Teddy and today I have to talk to you about the Vivor 12 inch camping pizza oven. Vivor was kind enough to send this to me because I begged them. I thought it'd be super fun for the family. What I didn't expect is how much I was actually going to like it and how good the pizza is that comes out of this thing. There was a little bit of a setup process. We'll get into that in a second. When it did arrive, I don't know if you can see on camera, but one of these little pieces is missing. It did break in shipping. No fault of Vivor's. I didn't even message them about it. I'm sure they would have replaced it if I had said anything. Other than that, everything was good. It comes with two oven mitts. I guess to pull out that pizza stone, it comes with a little pizza cutter. Quality on it is not great. And it comes with the little, I don't know, pizza shovel? What do you call these things? And then you can get in there and turn it. Some of their models actually have a little lever on the side, which you're able to turn the pizza inside so you don't even need one of these really well i guess you would still need it to get it in and out but anyway the reason why i chose this one specifically is the temperature gauge on the front turns out it's not that important it's only going to give you the air temperature it doesn't tell you the temperature of the stone it takes longer to heat up and it takes longer to cool down so it's going to be different than whatever that tells you it gives you a good idea of how hot the stove is when you're getting it going but other than that, not that important. So if you're looking for something similar, the temperature gauge, not that important. Don't let that be the deciding factor for you as it was for me. Now I have used this a few times already and I'm going to show you, you know, pull this out. You've got your pizza stone in there. You've got pizza crumbs in there because I haven't even cleaned it out yet from our last trip. And that's it. You use this guy, put your pizza in there and away you go. And that's it for the front side. Let's take a look at the back side. It actually comes with uh, this chimney which comes off uh, for transport and the legs also fold in for transport as well. I just left my chimney on there. It does not fit inside uh, when you when you move it. So I don't know, you're gonna have to find another spot for it. So I just left it all on there. Turning it around, you do have this handle which balances nicely. Turning it around, you do have this handle which is balance nicely with the, the whole thing. The oven itself weighs 32 pounds. I'll tell you the best part about it is this is where you put your fire. So I actually used wood, built a little fire in here and got it going. You can use pellets, you can use Charcoal, whatever you like. I like to use the fire because it just makes it more fun for me personally. And then here you have the feeder. So you just throw your stuff in there and then away you go. If you're even thinking about getting something like this for camp, I personally am very surprised at how much I actually do like it. 32 pounds, very easy to get in and out of your vehicle. It doesn't take up that much room. Vivor says it takes about 15 minutes to heat up. I didn't find that to be the case. It was more like half an hour to, for the stone to get nice and hot. It's made of 430 stainless steel. I can tell you it, the quality is actually really, really good. As a matter of fact, when I got the oven, it still had some plastic wrapping on it. I wanted to get all that plastic wrapping off. Uh, most people are telling me you could just burn it off. I wasn't comfortable just burning it off. I'm sure I'm just paranoid. So I ended up taking the whole thing apart and you, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you just how well built it is and all the rivets and everything. All the rivets are stainless steel. I actually replaced the rivets with aluminum, uh, which is a little bit scary, but I don't think a pizza oven gets that hot. As I started taking the pizza oven apart, I realized right away that everything is stainless steel and sturdy. Some rivets were tighter than others, but overall, it had great quality.
I actually couldn't find the correct size stainless steel rivets at my local hardware shop. So I just went with aluminum rivets. Hopefully that's okay. If anyone knows if I should swap out the aluminum rivets for stainless steel, please let me know. I definitely don't want to be eating aluminum fumes. So now that all the plastic is off, I was ready to use it. Gave it a little test drive in my backyard. Didn't really know what I was doing, but we did get some pizza out of it. And then next up, it was time for the real deal. We loaded it up into the back of the truck, as I showed you at the beginning of the video. We went on a trip. And it was just awesome. I've got the trailer hooked up to the truck. I've got the Kraken installed. I'm at Epic to pick up an adapter that you can get so you can fill up your trailer tires from the Kraken. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Come Never better. Name, Welcome. Second name, Bear. <laughs> hello. It's not squatting in the rear like it was before. It is definitely not. And that it drives way better. It, it must drives. handle way better. Too, it handles right? way better. Yeah. Wait. The trailer kit for the Kraken? Is that yes. what you're talking about? Oh, you want the trailer <laughs> kit. Okay, let's. This time of year, you really have no idea what you're going to get. We hit snow on the way to camp, and we couldn't wait for hot pizza. So we got to camp, and would you believe it? It started raining. Luckily, I have some friends <laughs> that brought a easy up. We got the awning out on the trailer. But we're gonna make some pizza. This is gonna be exciting. Got the fire going. Threw some embers in there. Let's see how it goes. For a pal. Are you Italian? More, port more like Portuguese. Yeah, that's a big Jeep, eh? You're eating a lot. Holy. <laughs> Good boy, no jump. Who's that? I know, I get a big hand. Come on, man. Okay. We got two eggs. No. Oh. That's more like it. Go. Oh, hear that crisp? Right. Wow. So that trip was about two weeks ago and we still talk about the pizza every day. This is, it's actually really funny, a couple days ago I mentioned to Cynthia and Theo that it was raining that trip. We'd forgotten about the rain and we could just all we think about is the pizza. <laughs> it was that good. The way I did it, I built a fire first, used the embers as you, as you saw in the video. My first three pizzas, not that great. Once that pizza stone got real hot, my last two pizzas were phenomenal. A huge tip is keep feeding the feeder. Just keep feeding it all the time, constantly. Every, I don't know, minute or so, throw more wood in there. 30 seconds, throw more wood in there. Uh, if you're using pellets, throw more pellets in there. Keep that fire going, keep it nice and hot. Huge tip, don't let that stone cool off. Even when you're cooking the pizza, keep feeding it as well. That was a huge mistake I made when I was testing it at home is I got the fire going and I just let it die off. Like got the fire going, let it die off and the stone never got hot enough. If you guys are used to my reviews, you know I never lie about anything. I would never trick you into believing that a product is better than it is. I do genuinely love this pizza oven. For the family, it's great. What I didn't think was that I'll probably be packing it when I'm going without the family. 
I do love the pizza that came out of it that much. I could see us taking it on some hunting trips after after the the big day, sitting around camp, getting some pizza going. Uh, it's really simple to use. Get your fire going, get your hot pizza. There's nothing better than a hot pizza at camp with a cold drink. This is definitely on the highly recommend list. Make sure you use the link below if you're considering any of these pizza ovens. I'm telling you, your family's gonna love it. You're gonna love it even if your family doesn't come out with you. The consensus was it was a nine out of 10. So there you have it, the 12 inch Vivor pizza oven, stainless steel, awesome product. And guys, I'm trying to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We're on pace to do it. If you're finding any of these videos helpful or informative, or if you'd like my adventure videos, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Ask me any questions you like in the comments. I read all the comments. I reply to pretty much all of them. I really appreciate you guys. Let's keep this adventure going. We've got big trips planned this year. Until next time, go away, get lost, and unwind. Let's go! Life's like a movie. Lights, camera, action. Put your mind to where life is like the true imagine. Life's like a